this looks uh, quite a remarkable acquisition for the cadets. Uh, how's it all come about? It is. Uh, all of these uh, top topos, the saving diggers, they've been donated by the OMST. We applied to them for uh, a grant, uh, which they very graciously uh, allowed us. The boats are down here. This is our boating station for uh, folks and cadets. And it's used by other cadets through Essex as well. Um, and the cadets will be sailing these. We currently have five cadets at a training, a race training event because they've won the official train for national training, a national sailing regatta. So that's very nice and it's to benefit of these kind of boats and the equipment we use. And the cadets actually sail on the docks? Or? Yes, yeah. yes they do. They, they sail down here quite regularly. Uh, and uh, on a Thursday at the moment, while we've got the, the good weather and the light nights, we can come down on a Thursday. To get and how many young people on an average Thursday? On an average Thursday, probably 12. Yeah, that's good. It is. Good. And, and how is, so is 12, obviously, depends on which way you look, could be a lot, could be a little. How are the sea cadets doing? Are you doing well with membership? You've got lots of young people? Uh, we, we currently have about 27 at first. But we always have space for more and we're very keen to recruit. What a lovely project it seems for the kids. It's really what we're doing. So you, you mentioned the kids and young people. This is, you know, sometimes you're paying for buildings, you're paying for this, that and the other. But this really does seem to be making a difference in the young people. <laughs> <laughs> so exciting. It's got a feel about this place. I think it's what the other is all about. I do. I get more pressure out of it. I love it. <laughs>